as y'all can see from the title of the video, we got this Joe Button and uh, Drake or Drake and Joe Button little beef going on. Uh, and like I said, the industry is pretty weird. You know, you you don't know who's friends or who's not. People act like they're friends, but they're not. But I'm just here to uh, dissect this little beef they got going on and why I think academics played a part in it. And it's something media. And I, I rock with uh, Act, but he kind of helped fuel this little beef going on or whatever this back and forth. And let's play the video, then I, t I, I tell y'all, what like, his part in this. So this the clip academics posted that Drake's been responding to. This this is like Yachty rapping. This is like he rapping for the children. And that's my yo dog, I had to look up how old this was when I finished listening to the album. Mm -hmm. You are 36. Your birthday is in 20 days. I Googled that too. You're gonna be 37 years old. Get the f away from some of these younger niggas. And stop f***ing these 25-year-olds. That was crazy. I'm listening to the album. Yo, you're a 37-year-old billionaire. I get it that you appeal to the world. Loving you about Cole. Like, my shit is happening in reverse. Like, with Cole, he used to rap about kid shit. I'm a grown-ass, like, real Jersey City n I don't want to hear how you lost your f***ing virginity. So, basically, that's the gist of the clip that Drake uh, responded to. Drake... He he wrote this whole long paragraph how Joey's a failure and uh, how his career ain't going how he, his career didn't go how he wanted to and how his job is to speak on a uh, to down talk rappers basically and he's a hater all that type of shit you know what I mean then he followed it back with some Instagram posts saying you not you not Kobe you know how Kobe told I mean. Draymond Green told Paul Pierce, like, you not Kobe. You not about to get that farewell tour. Because Drake told Joe, when you when you, uh, when you you retired, nobody hanged up your jersey. You know what I mean? Basically just saying nobody cared about Joe's rap career like that. Um, then he also threw a shot at uh, Parks. <laughs> he said, imagine, uh, he was like, he was like Im imagine uh, Mark Zuckerberg telling you what it is like to engineer, like, you know, a good product. And what's crazy, I think Parks uh, got credits on his album. You know what I mean? So, I mean, the whole day, it's been, it's created like a whole convo on, tw on Twitter X, however you want to call it. Kind of, you know, some people feel like Joe was right. Some people feel like Drake is being oversensitive. You know what I mean? And this this the opinion I got. If you listen to the whole JBP, or well not the whole, but this segment, because I don't think I even listened to the whole thing today, but I listened to uh, uh, the segment of the album review for the most part. Joe was giving a lot of props. Of course, like, he didn't really like this album that much, of course. But he, man, he, he gave Drake so much props, he sounded like he was even glazing for a while. You know what I mean? And everybody knows, like, the, the JBP, big Drake fans. So when this clip got posted, and that's why this why I think academics played a big part in this is because we always say how, like, media will clickbait a clip, take a clip, and just post a clip. Because, yeah, if you just post that clip, it does sound crazy. It just sound like Joe just straight up hating. You know what I mean? But he was giving props. But he didn't like this album for the most part. Just and that's he's not alone in that. If you look at uh what I'm seeing online, again, maybe it's just, you know, this happens every time Drake drops. Like some people are like, hey man, where's the growth? Where's the growth? But the album gonna stream like crazy, you know what I mean? Number one, all this, all that. Uh so yeah, I just didn't like like I mean academics know what he's doing, man. And I know he's friends with both of them, so I wonder how, you know, they, are they going to handle that conversation? But if I'm Joe, I'm not feeling that. Like, yo, you clipped me up. And, and again, sometimes Joe just potting. He's just potting. Everybody knows. Like, sometimes he's potting when he gets in that bag. But that's not what the old convo was like, you know. So now um, everybody's kind of been saying that, yeah, Drake is not growing. You know, he's, 
his songs are like made for kids. And I, I, I wouldn't think so. Me personally, uh, for the album, I, it's 23 songs. I like like eight songs, you know. Uh, I feel like he should have made the project shorter. So, you know, it would have been like, it would have been better to me because a lot of songs were just thrown on there. I'm not feeling. But um, as far as the critique for the album and people saying this for the kids, uh, I don't think so. I just think, Drake is making the music that he's been making. You know what I mean? He's going to appeal to every a lot of people, like Joe just said. You know what I mean? It, it ain't going to be just for, like, one, you know, a certain uh, fan base. But, you know, that's what makes Drake stream the most. You know what I mean? Being where he's at. That's why I, I could kind of see how he's kind of – he looks like he's attacking people. But he's just kind of like, man, I've been successful at this. Y'all never reached this heights. Y'all can't tell me what to do. But at the same time, like, consumers and it's hip-hop, man. People going to have their opinions on this shit. So um, I just want to come on here and, you know, chime in on that. Then I also see Birdman uh, do shots at Charlemagne and Joe. Uh, but this shit ain't that serious, man. It's just rappers. that It's just people having opinions on a, or, uh, you know, people from the culture having opinions uh, on the culture. It's just that simple. Like, I don't think this ain't... I don't feel like nobody's being, you know, super disrespectful. Of course, in, in the podcast world, you know, it's gonna be some jokes going on, but it ain't that serious. People be giving it up when it's when when it's just due. So, I just want to come on here and drop that video real quick. Uh, I mean, for the whole opinion of how everybody feels, man, y'all tune into the podcast, the Rational Podcast. Uh, me and my homeboys, we're gonna talk about this on Tuesday. You know, it's gonna be a lot to talk about, a lot to say, a lot to agree or disagree on, but. Y'all let me know how y'all feel about the album below and how y'all feel about this back and forth, man. Is it that serious? You know what I mean? Or uh, do y'all feel like Joe was right? Do y'all feel like Drake clapback was on point? You know? So y'all just let me know. Let me know what songs y'all rock with from the album. Like I said, I like about eight, man. But other than that, y'all stay tuned for more. It's your boy K-Dub. I'm going to holla at y'all. Peace.